Welcome back everyone to another episode of EU Ford Scandinavia where it seems like I just am a noob at this game. Uh, I mean seriously. I made one of the dumbest mistakes ever. I I was thinking I was gonna like peace out the uh, war, you know, I was gonna peace out Austria so they wouldn't have to fight us, but they were the war leaders, so when I pieced them out, it ended the entire war. Oh gosh, that was like a major bleh moment. I'm so sorry that you guys had to see that. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, Muscovy wants military access. Heck no. You guys have been mean to me this entire game. Why would I give you guys military access? Okay, and so, by the way, we are doing some colonies in the... Oh, in over here. I might actually just move that because I don't really want the colonies over here. And... Yeah, oh god. I'm sorry guys, I'm still just kind of like shocked I even did that. Like, it's still kind of going over in my head like, Oh wow, you idiot. Uh, well, say la vie guys, so sorry. I just, I probably ruined a lot of diplomatic relationships with most of my neighbors, so let's just start improving relationships with everyone again. Improve relations, Hansa. I mean, really, the only reason why I went to war was just because I wanted to go to... I wanted to get a little bit more land in the Baltic Sea because I haven't been able to expand this entire game. Like, as you guys know, we've been stuck in this kind of, like, day, day use... Not day use X, but just kind of stuck in this infinite loop where I could not get anything because, like, they'd be allied with Austria and Austria would be our main problem, but I didn't really care about alliances this time, so I was like, Psh. you know what, it doesn't matter to me. Okay, and let's see. Are you guys fine with me, or you guys still hate me? Oh, no, you guys are giving military access. Okay, so let's just stop improving relationships for a second. Once my diplomat comes back, we'll ask for military access. Get Don Schneek the actual region we need. Hey, my vassal's helping out! Yippee! My vassal's not an idiot, and... Oh, yeah, I forgot, they are fighting all my ships. Oh, gosh. Okay, what are they composed of, mostly? Eleven... Okay. Where are most of my ships? 24. Wherever my ships are, please do not die. Okay. All my ships just dock up right here. I don't want I don't want you guys to die, so just dock up where you have to, do not die. Okay. All my ships over here in the meds. Oh wait, I don't want my armies. Okay. Let's see my ships. You guys go right here. Yeah, just don't even don't even try to fight. Just go inside. Just do not fight. We don't want you guys to fight. You guys aren't really built for fighting, you guys are built for trading. Yeah, I think I think that actually best describes our empire. We are much more of a trading empire than anything. Let's see, we got more trade power going for us, and we got more conversions going for us. And let's see, do we have any overextension right now going for us? Let's see. Uh, no, no overextension, and still lots of Hodenstein. I don't think Hodenstein all these places are ever going to be converted, but yeah. Okay, let's see. Military access from the Librarian Order might if I do in a couple turns. Okay, we have all the soldiers crushing through everything. Production research is flawed. Get temp prestige. <laughs> I don't really care about the prestige right now because we have so much. Right yeah, now they're like destroying all my land, but it doesn't really matter because I'm destroying all the land. Like this, they're, they're, they're like doing some good sieging stuff right over here, but doesn't really matter because I'm like literally just destroying the land. It's not even like sit funny how badly I'm destroying them. And because they already destroyed all their army fighting against the Hansa, so we're just gonna be easily defeating them. Okay, go right here, go to Danshni. And I'll be like the last place we need to go conquer. And that's the only people in the war, right? Yep. Okay, and we just got some new things. We have challenged the culture, yes! And we have gained a core province, yes! Okay, that means we're going to make a, uh, second fourth. That means we have another, we should in a couple turns have another, uh, colonizer. And where should I move up next? Hmm. Where's, oh my goodness, the Great British just like annexed the Inca. That is kind of scary right there. That is kind of scary. Um... Seems like my colony's doing okay over here. Doesn't seem like we're getting too much attacked, which is good. Um, I think I might move up to... 
Hmm, now the Philippines are pretty much guarded. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about where I'm gonna go next with my next colonizer. My next colonizing force. I mean, we do have an entire America now to colonize. I mean, we do have to always think of that. And the British are taking the rest of Mexico, I guess. Because I didn't realize they had ships over here. Wow. Okay. That isn't good, because they could potentially annex Mexico right now. They probably will annex Mexico right now, I just realized that, so... Um... Yeah... <laughs> that is not good at all, in all places, because that means now I have like a gigantic chunk of England right there in front of me. That's gonna look really weird. In the middle of battle, that's gonna look really, really weird. So... Yeah... But anyways, on the right side, we're conquering Pomerania with do haste, Kashmir, uh, yes. and all these people declared war. My king, the Pope France, has called for a crusade against the Ottomans. Oh, the Ottomans. You guys are getting torn apart by the Catholic religions. Uh, you know, I kind of wish I was joining them, to be honest. <laughs> it would be nice to kind of just be there with the other guys and just go in and go conquer and you know, do all that stuff. It seems like a lot of fun. Okay, and then we have our last little bit right here. Okay, can I just go through? I should be able to go through my vassal's land, right? You have no diplomatic descent, I'm guessing. You have military access to the nation. Okay, and then we should be able to go through. No, Did they cancel military access with us. Yes, ask for military access. There we go. I don't know what that was about, but go right here. Yeah. Apparently we got free military access to Livonian Order. I did not even know that. Okay. We're just gonna destroy this entire army. Colonial Rush! Yeah! That's a good sign right there that our colonies are working. Okay, the siege is working. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it down a little bit because I'm getting a little bit of lag. Okay. And this is nice. We're almost all dead. I've almost gotten completely destroyed. And let me see, what can I take in this war? So I do want to take some stuff. That is definitely something I want to do. Let's see, how much would it cost to demand a vassal? Too much. Force religion costs too much. Transfer trade power, I... Hmm... Let's see. How much trade power do they actually have? Because that could actually make a difference, since we do have some powerful nodes over here. Let's see. Hansa, how much do the Hansa... I mean, how much do Pomerania control? Pomerania controls a good amount over here. What about over here? Uh, Palmway controls a good amount in both these places, so, hmm, trade power might be nice to get from them. Okay, um, definitely take Donchning. Uh, we could just, honestly, just take all of this. No, we couldn't. We could take all of this if we got full annexation, which would be nice, because then we kind of look like we're spreading into the HRE, which would be a lot of good things happening. Okay. Well, actually, let's just, like, take out that. How much would they give us? 57. That's, like, nothing. Um, release any va vassals, maybe? Um, yeah, actually, that would be a good idea. Lundeberg. Oh, they're in the exact same place, too. Release some vassals. Uh, home annual all trees with Pomerania. That might be nice. Uh, revoke cores. Doesn't really count for me anyway. Hmm. See, I'm already gonna face a lot of this piece will suffer will suffer for the overextension. I'll suffer a lot of aggressive expansion, so I don't wanna do too much. Let's just see. What if I just free this country right here? Will I suffer anything? No, I won't. So let's just free that country right there. Um, uh, what we want to delete? Because we don't need them for transfer trade power, but I do want something of equal value in return. Let's say, yeah, you get it. Oh, if I just delete that, then I'd be able to get transfer trade power. No, I would not. Oh gosh, this is like working out treaty, guys. It's a hard, hard job. Okay, probably gives the the core. Teutonic Order. What does this mean? Return cores. Okay, I don't really care. Revoke cores. 
Yeah, I can't really do that to two nations. So that's not going to work. Only with annual treaties, that will work. And can't exactly force them to become a religion, sadly. Wish I could, but I can't. Okay, there we go. That's what I want in this war. Okay, this is the reason why we fought. Is to get Danschnik. Really not, but it's the reason why I'll say we took this war. Is to get Danschnik. There, we're also going to be in a much more bigger European theater. We actually have more European land. Let's see, did you guys get everything I wanted? Let's see, Danschnik probably would give the cords a piece of last. No. You guys are gonna give me everything I want, otherwise I'm not gonna accept. You guys you guys really think you guys are in the like in the mood to like negotiate your way out of this? You guys are basically almost dead right now. The only reason why we haven't like destroyed you is because of reasons. So I don't know why you guys aren't accepting my generous peace. I'll just wait until we siege down this. I really don't have to, you know, be hurrying anytime soon. And alone to do. We paid alone. We have tons of money now. Tons and tons of money. So we don't even have to be worrying about loans. And, okay. And we really should be making a fleet here soon. So, this, this is going to be our next big jump. It's trying to get all the way over here. Okay, they seem to really not be able to hold on to this land. And I'd really love to get this settlement right here established. So, let's see. Uh... You guys, well, let's see, how close are some of my colonies? This colony is almost done. The Swampy Cree is almost done, so after they're done, I'm going to go send some uh, a colony right over here. That way, I'll have instant access to Lower Sid, which is ultimately another goal of ours. And that way, I have a good 20% modifier to everything, which will... Ooh, that's going to be a big modifier right there. We're almost there, don't worry. Don't worry, we're almost there. We're going to do what we have to. Okay. And let's see. <laughs> Is the war still going on or did they finally declare peace? They, they finally declared peace. Looks like these guys are slowly starting to be like the jerks of the whole entire thing. They're just taking over the Union. They're at war with. Oh, the Ottomans. Is the Ottomans at war with everyone again? I'm guessing so. Yep. Oh, poor Ottomans. You guys are like the push bags or the rag bags of the European theater. Seriously, you guys get no respect by anyone. By no one. <sighs> Poor Ottomans. <laughs> Alright, and we almost have this siege down to perfect amounts. Let's see, we just have... Come on, finish! Siege! Okay, we got military access. Yes, okay. Let's send our demands, and let's see. Does that make, uh... No, it does not make force religion any cheaper. That's dang. I wish I could do that. I really wish I could figure out a way to, like, you know, lower my... Well, actually, I could. If I didn't take Donchning, I took... If I took this, then I could get everything I wanted. Hmm. Ultimately, I think this would actually be a better... Yeah, I think this will actually be a better peace deal, because I not only weaken them, but I also weaken them by a lot. Okay, let's do it. Yeah! Ha 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 ha! New Imperial place formed over here. Gonna do this. I always do this. Get the core first. Okay, and then where do I have to do it? Austin needs to be a Scandinavian bombs before it can join the Roman Empire. No. I don't want to join the Roman Empire, that's why I was seeing if I could delete it. So, I got local trade power up to 50, and let's see, how much trade power do we now have in the sea? Oh, this is going to be intense. Yep, 47%, and, oh gosh, I got, like, taken down over here. Uh, we need to take down the Hansa. If we could take down the Hansa over there, then that'd be nice, but, over here, this is basically our node now. No one else can, like, claim it. That's really nice. And still they are allied together, so I'm not even gonna deal with that. Poland forms. Yeah, it seems like there's a whole entire like coalition right there, so I'm not even gonna deal with that. But anyways, yes, we got what we wanted. I can get more diplo get more technological advanced. Good. Let's see, how advanced are we still advancing this? 14 years. Wow. 
Uh, we have to really get back up in administration and let's see. Yeah, administration really needs to get back up, but the rest of it's pretty good. Um, Portugal is, I don't think Portugal is going to be able to get that colony. I think it's going to keep dying on them, so that's going to stink. Um, but now, since we're in a good position to finally stop fighting wars over here, let's see. Um, well, actually, wait, we're over here, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong place. Um, you know, I honestly should start playing on the Lithuanians a little bit harder. I mean, they're pretty weak. Com like, comparatively, the Eastern Tech and the weak. It would be nice to kind of play on them, but I think they're one of the few people that actually do not hate me. Yeah, I mean, Muscovy hates me with a burning passion. They just will not stand me no matter what I do. Oyo is going to die, but, um, let's see. Let's see, who really does not like me? A lot of the big powers. Let's just start curving some of these guys' opinions so that they're not too, too mad at me, because I just... I don't mind if they, you know, if we're kind of okay with each other, but we just have to make sure these big powers do not declare war on us. That'd be very bad. Because I don't think I could deal with the entire, like, cross, you know, fighting war, any sorts. And we got another self-sustaining colony, yes. Right when we didn't actually, well... Are these guys actually winning? Wow. You guys, are you guys standing up to the British and? Wow. I'll give it to Oyo. O Oyo, these guys are one tough people. They're standing up to both the British and the Portuguese and winning because I'm being a jerk and not letting. Oh, never mind. The British are coming in to be jerks. Sorry, Oyo, you probably are going to die here soon. Okay. Scandinavia gains Alabama from who? Eh, I don't care. It's a creek. But you guys are probably gonna die now. I'm just gonna have to wait. I'm gonna wait for that colony to die down this time before I actually send anything. I also could get some more land over here, but it's not really worth that much. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really worth that much over there. Alright. Let's see. Can we build any more men, by the way? About two more. Hmm. Not really worth it. And now that we got our soldiers. All the way over here, I'll go send this army to go down here to go into St. James to guard this entire section of Scandinavia. And then I'll have this army just specially right here waiting for somebody to not have a good alliance so I can go to war with them. <laughs> uh, but it seems like these guys, these guys are all making really good alliances. And I could go to war with the creek right now, go to Cherokee. I'm not going to because I don't see any reason to go to war with them right now. They're doing nothing wrong to me. So why should I go to war with them? I really shouldn't. So, come on, colony of the Portuguese, die. Come on, die. Come on, die. Come on, die. Come on, die. Oh gosh, come on, die. This might take a really long time, so I'm just gonna stop looking at it. And another colony has become self-sustaining. That's good. I think... Yeah, all these places now can be cored. Let's just core all these places and let's start moving down. I think we can finally group up this land right here. Yeah, and that way we will now own this entire area. And no way has formed a coalition against us. Oh great, here it, it's coming guys. We're about to have the major coalitions formed against us and... Over here I'm going to start protecting my trade routes again. We're going to protect the uh, Chesapeake Bay, and you guys, the uh, Hudson, Hudson Bay, and I'm going to start making some more transport ships, let's just combine all you guys, uh, yeah, let's just start making some more transport ships, because I really, 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 really want to get over to. Uh, to the Indians, so I'm gonna need a big, gigantic transport army. Uh, plus some early frigates would be nice. Let's do this. And that. 215 days? That's nothing. We'll be done within a couple, in a couple years. That's well, actually years, a couple days. But yes. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, what do I want to build right now? 
Let's build, let's go start building up all of our, like, colonies over here. Okay, and... Let's see, how many docks do we have? We have a good amount. Don't have, like, a great amount, but we have a good amount. Let's just start, like, increasing our docks. Like, seriously, by a lot. Okay, and over here, we have... We can also build a dock. That way it can be like a good port for like everything and incompetent diplomacy, that is not good. Revolutionaries risk possible. Yeah. These guys are not gonna be happy with me for a very long time, but if I do this, that should revolt. This should destroy all the risk to them becoming Scandinavian. Which is not necessarily the best thing in the world. But yeah. These guys are also accord, which is good. Find all you guys right here. Or you can find that. Local trade modifier. Colony damage. That usually happens a lot. You guys know you guys stay right there. Uh, you guys move it all the way over here. You guys move it all the way over here. Okay, let's see how many we have. Uh gosh, colonies. Oh, we have two colonial people. What am I doing? Oh gosh, I should be like expanding right now. Um, 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 we could probably start going a little bit more into actual America. So let's just go right there. That's gonna be an easy colony to go. Just right there, and we can just start spreading out over here. And because now we have the British right next to us, which is not good. And that's another episode, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the future again.